Hello, good afternoon. Hola. Good afternoon. <laughs> Good afternoon. Hola. Good afternoon. Ah, tenemos un chiquito en la clase, una chiquitina. We have a baby. Un chiquitino. Dele. No me quiere. How old is the baby? No me quiere. Bueno, y escuchando voy a ir aprendiendo inglés. That's how we learn. Ok, bueno, voy a escribir en el grupo del chat porque por lo visto no, tal vez no recuerdo. Usualmente, ¿cuántos compañeros se conectan, Melanie? ¿Cómo? Unos ocho, diez. Pero... Porque hoy es un día libre, ¿verdad? De ustedes. Sí. Ya es hora. Pero sí les avisaron con tiempo, ¿verdad? Ah, bueno, yo hasta hoy, hace poco, vi el mensaje, porque hasta hoy estaban anunciando. De verdad, hasta ahora les estaban confirmando. Ahora, a mí hoy en la mañana. Hoy en la mañana me lo enviaron.
bueno, si no así vamos a empezar, va a tener una clase privada, mire qué dichosa usted. Clase privada le va a tocar. Sí, porque... Se describen los compañeros, pero ni les caen los mensajes. Y me parece que solo a los que le mandé el mensaje ahorita, como que solo les cayó a dos, dice. Uh -huh. Así me pasó la clase pasada, porque como hay otro grupo de ustedes, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ellos también tardaron en conectarse, pero ya a esta hora ya había como cuatro. Sí, sí, a esta hora ya fueron más conectados, pero como le digo, de que hasta hoy estaban avisando. Estaban avisando. Hello, Hello. Welcome to the class. Thank you. Sé que lo despertó, dice la compañera. No, lo que pasa es que, bueno, algo así es que tienen un correo en el que dice que empieza el lunes 30 y tenía el mensaje de WhatsApp que ahora, entonces. Ahí tenía confusión, no sé. Pero ya vi que sí enlace, así que... Ya, ya, ya. Este, estoy viendo porque ajá, varias personas parece que se confundieron, pero sí, el inicio es... Sí, yo tengo un correo que dice que las clases inician el lunes 30 y, y un enlace. Ah. Pero eh, sí, en WhatsApp me cayó que iniciaban ahora. Pero ustedes el lunes 30 trabajan, ¿verdad? Afirma, sí. Entonces, pues si trabajan, pues eh, no son los días libres, nada más que podemos hacer la clase. Bueno, vamos a empezar con ustedes dos, clase privada. It's okay. <risa> no hay problema. Ok, welcome to the class. Cuando vengan sus compañeros, pues me vuelvo a presentar de ser necesario. My name is Diana Rodriguez Sayas, and I'm going to be your teacher here in this course, in this module. Number, I think it's pre-intermediate one. So I am happy to be your teacher. And well, I don't know, maybe we'll have some more students later on. Let me show you. Eh, y preguntarle primero, antes de que cualquier otra cosa pase, ¿ya tienen acceso a la plataforma, al nuevo curso en la plataforma? No, I don't. ¿No han revisado? ¿You haven't checked? Or... No. Okay, so if you can check, because we have the platform. Sí. Justo estaba chequeando yo que ahora me cayó el mensaje, sí hace poco. Okay. So you maybe have access to Let's see. So in the platform you should see yeah. wait. Okay, because we need to start working on the platform since today. Yes, since today because Today and tomorrow, we have two hours classes. So that will be four classes. Before the four classes, um, I mean, after the four classes, you have to have complete section one and section two. Y tendríamos que estar finalizando section one and section two entre hoy y mañana. So it is important that we start working on the platform since today, desde hoy. Bueno, lo que carga, vamos a presentarnos un poquito aquí ya como se debe. Let me check. Okay, so once again, welcome. As you can see, here is the date. Today is Saturday, October 28th, 2023, or you can say 2023, right? So, so today, ya casi se acaba, almost done with October. We're going to start November. So in this class, uh, we're going to cover two important topics. It's 1.1. Conversation, I hardly ever exercise with the adverbs of frequency, right? Like always, usually, often, never, hardly ever. <clears throat> And then we have the um, topic, eight, I mean, 1.8, the conversation, I'm a real fitness freak. 
as I said before, my name is Diana Rodriguez Sayas, but I go by Diana Sayas. And this is the pre intermediate number one. Okay. And this is the class number one. So this is my introduction. So the last letter for my introduction. So my name is Diana Rodriguez. Uh, um, Excuse me, teacher. Yeah. Uh, I I know it's a print immersion number two, but I know if I'm right. Can you repeat that again? Um, que según yo es pre intermedio dos. Es pre intermedio two. Let me check. Maybe I'm wrong. Si no creo que estamos mal ahorita en este en el enlace, pero no estoy seguro. No, si son ustedes. <laughs> I know that are is you. It's yeah, it's pre intermediate two. I am sorry. Yeah, you are right. Don't worry. It's raining in here. So you know you don't understand? It is no, it's not. No, it is not? Okay. Pero que but it's cloudy. It's cloudy? Well, I hope it yes. doesn't affect with the class. Oh my God, what did I do? Okay, pre intermediate number. Yeah, fixed. Thank you. Okay, so yeah, we are in the pre intermediate number two, and this is the class number one, this first. Okay, so uh, this is my presentation, like this is my introduction. Um, I have studied scientific idioma English, and I have studied some other things related to teaching, and this is my job experience. I have taught in these places. The most important ones will be like Segundo idioma, Amity Education USA. Este trabajo fue en United States. Como embajadora de lenguas extranjeras. También he estado en algunas academias trabajando con el INSAPORP y con inglés corporativo. Claro que estamos desde la pandemia, since the pandemic started. So obviously, since 2020 working online with different groups and different students and i'm also uh, an english teacher at a public school okay so this is my professional uh, information now let's go with the information of the course so these are some guidelines that i would like you to follow first of all is cameras on at all times you know this is a scholarship una beca this is a scholarship so we obviously need to follow some rules. And one of the most important rules is cameras on at all times, okay? Las camaritas encendidas, ahí le doy gracias a Melanie for having the camera on, please. Yeah, thank you. Give me, give me two minutes, please. Okay, 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 okay. You're combing your hair. Okay, so peinándonos ahí. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> okay. And then we need to have the full names as in the ID. If you can do this, that will be appreciated porque en la asistencia, in the attendance, se ven los minutos que estuvo conectado con su nombre completo, okay? It's better to have it like that. Login on time, <laughs> something that we didn't do today, maybe because we didn't have the correct information. But yes, it is very important to be on time. Turn on your mic only when necessary. ¿Por qué es importante este punto número four? Turn on your mic only when necessary. Los micrófonos nos van a servir para participar, pero cuando no sea necesario hay que tenerlo apagado porque ya me ha pasado que tengo varios students connected y de repente se oye la ropa y quien no se capta el fondo y el pan y no sé qué y se oye un montón de bulla de fondo, ¿verdad? Y luego vamos a aparecer en uno de esos memes virales en las redes sociales <ríe> porque este video va para YouTube, as you know, ¿ok? So turn on your mic only when necessary. Then we have the number five. It is very important. Spanish as a last resource. What is the meaning of this? So that we are learning English, so we need to speak in English. So if you don't know how to say something or you need me to repeat something, we can use Spanish, but as a last resource, okay? Not very much. English is the main language here. Then attendance is the minutes. Attendance is about the minutes connected to the class. So obviously, 
Uh, no solo cuenta asistencia de venir y conectarme dos minutitos, ¿verdad? Attendance is about the whole time that I'm here in the class. Eso es, sí, eso sí, eso, ¿cómo son? Esas dos horas, two, two hours here in the class. And obviously we need to work on the platform. ¿Por qué es importante trabajar en la plataforma? So it is very important to work on the platform porque um, es como ir a la escuela, ¿no? Si yo voy pero nunca hago los exámenes ni entrego tareas, pues yo no pasaba. <laughs> en mi escuela no nos dejaban pasar si era así, así que lo mismo acá, ¿ok? So, connecting to the class is 50% and working on the platform is the other 50%. So, it's very important. And as I told you, and this class number one and tomorrow's class number two, we need to complete section one and section two. Okay, so now I would like to get to know you a little bit, even though we are only three in this class. <laughs> I know. Uh, wait a minute, what happened? I don't know what happened. Let's start again. Okay, so we are only a couple of students here, but we're going to go with this. So I'm going to introduce myself now, and then you'll do it, okay? So hello, everyone. My name is Diana Rodriguez Sayas. I live in Usulutan. I work in English Corporativo and I am 29 years old. Okay, now it's your turn. Let's start with Melanie. Hello everyone. My name is Melanie Abigail Antonio Deras. I like in Nehap or oh, Apopa. Apopa no se queja ahora. <laughs> Oh, really? Okay. A este, creo que es ahora. Oh, okay. Okay. I'm here. I am work in Hand Socks. Okay. I am 26 years old. Excellent. Good job, Melanie. Nice to meet you. Okay, now let's go with Daniel. Hello, everyone. My name is Daniel Jesus Santos Miranda. I live in Santa Ana. I work uh, in Hands Run Sync, like uh, Melanie. And I'm 34 years old. Okay, excellent. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, Daniel. Okay, then we have, let me see, Ana Jasmine. But are you a listener? Es oyente el día de hoy, creo, Ana Jasmine. Si no nos confirma, porque ahí su, su nombre dice oyente. So, yeah. Y veo que también se nos está conectando. Bueno, Daniel. Soy... Oh, so Soy yo. Es usted. Es que me voy a desconectar del teléfono. Ok, ok. Go ahead, go ahead. Ya me había alegrado también. Dije, ya se nos unió alguien más. <risa> Sorry. No, la broma. It's ok, it's ok. Lo que pasa es que algunos compañeros estaban comentando que han ido a hacer extras. Entonces, ahorita estaban dormidos y como no avisaron con tiempo, si ya está hoy, en mi casa a las 10 me cayó el mensaje oh. de la clase. Demasiado. Fue como a, a quemar ropa. Ah, así agarraron el uno. Bueno, pero entonces agradezco que ustedes estén presentes aquí en la clase, aún así haciendo el esfuerzo. Okay. Buenas tardes, teacher. Hello, good afternoon, Ana. Este, yo le pido disculpas porque no me voy a poder conectar a la clase. La verdad no sabía que había clase. <ríe> así me están diciendo varias personas que no sabían. Entonces yo tenía un poco ocupado el tiempo. Como no avisaron, se supone que tienen que avisar días antes o por lo menos un día antes para, para estar uno. Uh -huh. Bueno, pero el día de mañana sí podríamos estar presentes, Ana. Sí, mañana, domingo. Sí, ¿verdad? Sí, sí. sí. ¿Sí? Ok, perfecto. Pero le agradezco por estar de oyente. Igual ahí cuenta su asistencia. Ok, gracias, Tiche. Thank you, thank you. No, de verdad que gracias a ustedes por hacer el esfuerzo de estar aquí. I appreciate it. I know yeah. que así de última, de último momento, pues, no todos nos sale factible, pero thank you, thank you very much. Ok. Bueno, we're going to continue here right now, and we're going to continue with, no, this is for later, eso lo vamos a hacer después. Let me, uh, vamos a hacer un review de los um, adverbs of frequency. As you know, adverbs of frequency, we use them to talk about the frequency of how we do something. 
los derribios de frecuencia se utilizan para hablar de con la frecuencia que nosotros realizamos una actividad. ¿Verdad? For example, usually, never, hardly ever, and things like that. So I'm going to show you. Déjame ver acá. Okay, here we are. Yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. So these are some adverbs of frequency and the frequency of how they do something. The percentage is like symbolic, it's a symbolic el, el percentage, el percentage. But usually this is what we use. Like always is an activity we do 100% of the time. Usually it's like 90% of the time. Often it's like 70%. Sometimes it's 50 and 50, so sometimes yes, sometimes no. Hardly ever is an activity that you don't do very often. And never is an activity you do 0% of the time, okay? So, but it is very important also to know the, the structure. Yo creo que eso ya lo hemos visto, pero es como un review, right? That's what we do, like a review. So we have the subject, always in the sentences we need the subject. And then we're gonna use the adverb of frequency, okay? Then we're gonna use the verb, and then we're gonna use a complement. Vamos a hacer una oración ejemplo. I always, uh, I always get up early. That's just an example, verdad? So I always get up early. So if you can see here, si lo pueden ver, tenemos diferentes adverbs of frequency. Voy a mostrar. ¿Cómo sería? So for example, I is the subject, right? Always is the adverb of frequency. Get up is the verb and early is the complement. So, se cumple la regla de la que estamos hablando. Subject, adverb, frequency, verb, and complement. Vamos a hacer otra oración. We're going to do another sentence. A ver. He, y aquí es importante que sepan que con she, también vamos a utilizar the same rule, the third person, right? The S, the S. He, um, usually... He usually uh, speaks speaks English. Okay. He usually speaks English. So again, she is the subject. Usually is the adverb of frequency. Speaks is the verb, and English is the complement. Okay. Bien. Okay. Now with this information, quiero que me envíen un ejemplo acá al chat de Zoom usando todos los adverbios de frecuencia que pueden ver acá. O sea que me van a enviar one, two, three, four, five, six, six sentences. Seis oraciones, ¿ok? Las estoy leyendo. Si hay correcciones, las voy a ir haciendo y como solo pues, estamos todos escribiendo, la rapidito en la historia. ¿no? Excellent, ya estoy ahí revisando. Now we have a singer here. <laughs>
Bien, bien, sigamos. Ya, yeah, continue. I'm ready six sentences. Ahí les mando unas pequeñas corrections también, si hay que hacer. Ok, excelente. Bien, vamos a explicar, creo que lo han hecho bastante bien, solo creo que ha habido one little mistake. That's what I'm going to explain, ok. Ok, so we have to talk about, um, con, para hablar con atributos de frecuencia, we need to have the simple present, that is simple present. Simple present. Simple present. ¿Y de qué habla el simple present? Simple present talks about routines. Simple present talks about real facts. So, reales. Okay. For example, I live in El Salvador. This is a real fact. Okay, es un hecho real que yo vivo en El Salvador. I live in El Salvador. This is a real fact. No es que ahora no hay un tiempo específico. Then for routines, for example, I go to work from Monday to Friday. Aquí ya sería una routine, ¿verdad? Una rutina. Ahora, to talk about the simple present, tenemos que conocer los uh, pronouns, right? Los pronombres. ¿Y cuáles son los pronouns? ¿Se recuerdan ustedes de los pronouns? 
he, she. Okay, exactly. So we have I, we have you, we have we, we have they. Los que mencionaba al inicio la compañera también que tenemos he, she, and it. Okay. Pero aquí está la importancia de lo que les estoy diciendo. For some of these, we have these, para eso tenemos unas reglas, y para estos otros acá, que se llaman la tercera persona, tenemos otras reglas, right? So, for example, acá, solo agrego for I, I speak in. Y el verbo solo va en su forma base y así, ya. Pero si lo voy a utilizar con la tercera persona, if I'm going to use it with the third person, she speaks, okay? She speaks English, okay? So she speaks English. Now, it's muy importante que sepamos que esa regla de the letter S van a aplicar con la tercera persona singular que es he, she, and it, okay? Ahora, si lo vamos a hacer negative, it's different. For the negative form, vamos a negar aquí con I don't, que es el auxiliar, ¿verdad? I don't speak English, right? Pero para ella vamos a utilizar otro auxiliar, another auxiliary. ¿Saben cuál es? ¿Te parece al don? Doesn't. Excelente, Daniel. Thank you very much. So, she doesn't, pero acá ya no voy a usar el verb with the S, no. So, I'm just going to write, she doesn't speak English. ¿Alguien de ustedes sabe por qué ya no utilizo la S en ese verb? Porque la auxiliar ya no lleva. La auxiliar. Muy bien, esto yo sé que ustedes ya lo saben. It's just a review, ¿ok? So, si utilizo this ones, I can use it. I, you, we, they, only the verb. But if I use he, she, it, so I need to use the letter S at the end of the verb, or the auxiliary doesn't, or does for questions. All clear? Almost bien as I, as I, yeah? Okay, excellent, perfect. Okay, we're gonna continue. Let me... una actividad or we're gonna do it individual okay let me y ustedes saben con quiénes son los compañeros con los que van sí los que van en este grupo can you repeat the question I mean do you know your classmates no, I don't know. ¿No, ¿No los conoce los compañeros? Lo, lo que pasa es que no sé quiénes realmente se apuntaron, si son los mismos que estuvimos la vez pasada. O, o, okay. Okay. Pero todos tenemos que ser de la misma planta, pero no estoy seguro quiénes Hola, sí. Dani. Bueno, son los únicos que reconozco yo ahí. Okay. Carla y Ronnie, de ahí de hoy. Hay un número que no sé quién. Okay. It's okay. So let me. My God. Carla y Ron. Vamos a hacer una actividad súper sencilla. Se las voy a mandar. Y es, el, es un link que van a completar ustedes. Y cuando lo terminen, me van a compartir su pantalla para verlo. Va a este link. Les voy a enseñar cómo hacerlo, ¿ok? So we're gonna do this. Oh, wait a minute. Okay. Aquí tenemos los adverbs of frequency y los tenemos desordenados. So lo voy a ordenar. ¿Cuál es el que se utiliza para 100% of the time? Always. Always. Entonces voy a agarrar always para arriba y lo voy a poner acá. Yeah? Y lo voy a ir ordenando. ¿Me entienden cómo lo van a hacer? Cuando terminen, van a presionar yes. aquí finished y le van a dar en esta opción. Miren, check my answers. 
y ahí les va a aparecer, ¿ok? ¿Comprendemos la actividad? Ok. Ok, super easy. Ahí hagamos eso rápidamente. Cuando termine mi aviso, ok? When you finish, you tell me. I'm done. En worksheet era verdad, que no me parece. Yeah, la... worksheet. Yeah. Te vuelvo a mandar el link, no sé. Excellent, Melanie. Yo sé que esperamos a Daniel. Un minutito más ahí. <coughs> I can't do it. Oh, no lo deja. ¿Y está desde la computadora o el teléfono? Uh, from my computer. Qué raro en la computadora usualmente es más sencillo. Bueno, vamos a continuar. We're going to continue. So, uh, let's go here with this another activity. Oh, sorry. This one. Okay, the adverse of frequency. So obviously we know this, always is 100% of the time, usually is 90, often 70, sometimes 50, hardly ever like 20 or 10, and never. So here we have these ones. We're gonna do it. Play the drums at night. Do you know the meaning of drums? What? Yeah, tambores, yeah. So play the drums at night. So this is 0% of the time. What is the advert of frequency for 0% of the time? I never. never. Exactly. So I never play the drums at night. Correct. He read the newspaper on the sofa. 100% of the time? 
Always. Always. They study for the exam at the library. 20, dice ahí, no se ve mucho, pero dice 20. 80, dice. 20, 20, 20. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. You come to the school by bus. Usually. Usually. Ride my bike. How many percent? 70. 70. Um, often. Uh, and 50% of the time? Sometimes. I'm going to read the sentences. I'm going to read the sentences. Y luego les voy a pedir a ustedes que me ayuden a leerlas. So, ahorita solo listen. Just listen. And then you're going to help me. I never play the drums at night. He always read the newspaper on the sofa. They hardly ever study for the exams at the library. You usually come to school by bus. I often ride my bike. We sometimes have lunch together. Okay, so let's go with number one, Melanie. We never play the drums at night. Repeat drums. 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 Como que drums. La, así como está escrito, solo que como que la U fuera O. Drums. Drums. Yeah, correct. Daniel. He always read the newspapers on the sofa. Newspaper. Usted me dijo newspapers. Yes, okay. It's okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Melanie. Hi. They, they hardly never. Ever. Hardly ever. Hardly ever. Study for the exam at delivery. Okay. Repeat. Okay. Study. Study. Exams. Exams. Library. Library. Libra, library. 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 Excellent. Daniel? You usually come to school by bus. Excellent. Melanie? I often ride my bike. Excellent. Daniel? We sometimes have lunch together. Excellent. Good job. Okay. So these are the sentences. Now we're going to continue. Ahora sí vamos a continuar con the rest. Con lo, el resto. Que es una sopa de letra. ¿Listo? Vamos a encontrar las palabras. Les voy a dar unos minutitos para que ustedes las vayan encontrando y después me van a ir diciendo lo que les han encontrado. Pero, por ejemplo, miren, ya tenemos la primera. Sometimes. ¿Ya? Yeah. You see it? In the always está abajo de la T. The sometimes. T. The always. Okay. W A Y S. Okay. Y después del guioncito hacia abajo está usual. Usual. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Qué rápido es en esto. Usual. <laughs> Un pasatiempo. Pero, lleva doble A. Pero usually, yo voy a hablar esta vez, no salí. Pero usually es yo con dos L, no, no es la de abajo. Pero está más abajito también aquí en la segunda línea de abajo hacia arriba, está con las dos L. Usually. Okay. Ahí. Ajá. Arriba está Never. De usually está Never. Oh, yeah. Y hardly ever está abajo de usually. Yeah. Ah. Ever. Arriba de la última L está Often. <risa> Oh my goodness, you're so quick. <laughs> okay, Mel solo no sería falta. Melanie con... juega bastante con el niño, quizás. <laughs> no sé. Number one, two. Solo para eso compraba el diario. ¿Cuándo fue? No, ya estuvo, ya lo hicimos todos. Oh my god, that was fast. Okay, 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 excellent. Bien. Vamos a ordenar estas oraciones entonces. Aquí también van a ser rápidos. I hope so, ¿ok? Que ordenemos mm -hmm. estas oraciones rápido. ¿Ok? Y me las mandan al chat ordenadas. Por ejemplo, les voy a ordenar la primera nada más. I sometimes 
play the drums at night. Ok. Vaya, esa es la que yo ordené. Ordenen las otras ustedes y me las mandan en el chat. Luego las revisamos. I love revisión el chat. I'm checking the chat. Okay, I have one. Okay, good.
Ok, muy bien ahí, pero recuerden que siempre I, siempre, es always capital, capital mayúscula, oh, I is always capital. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. Good job. Okay, so let's do it. Vamos a ver. So number two, uh, me da la oración ordenada. Please, Daniel, can you tell me the sentence? He always study. Ah, perdón, la doba. Yeah, number two. Uh, number two. Uh, they always study no, for no, the exams. This one, this one, this one. I'm sorry. It's this one. Like, estamos Fernando. He always. Uh -huh. He always read the newspaper on the sofa. Newspaper on. So. Oh, that was his mom's day. Okay. How, yeah. how do you say punto in English? Period. A period. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. So here we have a mistake. Did you see? Reads. It should be with letters. Yes. Right? Yes. 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 Okay. I saw first, but. Yeah, you weren't sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm yeah. sure. Yes. 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 It's a mistake. Okay, uh, but good job, Daniel. Melanie, can you tell me next? They always study, study. For, the, study for the exam okay, for the exams. at the library. 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 Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, Daniel, next. You hardly ever come to school by bus. Okay, next, Melanie. I often ride my bike. Ride my bike. Excellent. Next, Daniel. We usually have lunch together. Period. <laughs> okay. Okay, good job. Now it says here, use the fre frequency adverbs or adverbs of frequency to write sentences about you. Ahora ustedes, you are going to make your own sentences. Todas van a decir, I. Okay. Voy a dar ejemplos. I'm going to give you examples. I always have breakfast. Next, I often is, right? Often, I often play on my phone. I, this is, oh no, no, this is usu usually, right? Yeah, this is usually, and the other one is often. I usually play on my phone. I often clean my desk. Do you know what is desk? Escritorio. Yeah, correct. 50 and 50. I sometimes watch TV at night. 20, hardly ever. I hardly ever, I hardly ever 
to her liver. I hardly ever take soft food. And yeah. never, I never, I never, I never, I never, I never smoke. Okay. So these are my sentences. Yes. Now I want to see your sentences. That you said. Con cosas reales. Real things about you. Okay. Okay. Les espero. Si pueden mandarlo ahí en privado al chat de Zoom, que diga solamente inglés corporativo, enviar a inglés corporativo, así solo yo las veo, ¿ok?
con relación a la comunidad, ¿ok? Okay, I'm checking. Okay, I said ya ex. Yo was drink Coca-Cola. Ajá. Uh -huh. Wait. Water. <laughs> I usually watch anime. Okay. Ow. Exercise. I never say never. <laughs> never say never. <laughs> Qué creativa. <laughs> that was good. Okay, very good. Okay, now we're going to play a game, you guys. Vamos a jugar un, um, a little game. We're going to play this game. Okay, this is called Two Truths, One Lie. Two Truths, One Lie. Okay, so this thing, I'm going to tell you three things about me. And Two of these things are true, but one is a lie. So you have to guess what is the lie, okay? So I always drive a motorcycle to work. I never go to the beach. And I hardly ever play soccer. The first is lie. The first is a lie, okay. What about you, Melanie? ¿Cuál crees que es mentira mía? Number one, two, or three. Melanie, microphone is off. The microphone. Sorry, sorry. Um, la number two. Two. Y number one. Number one y number two. ¿Crees que en las dos se estoy mintiendo? No sé. Okay. No. Ser, ser. So what is the lie? Hmm. Let me yeah. see. Let me see. So number one, it's true. I always drive a motorcycle to work. Yeah, I drive a motorcycle. Okay. Number two is incorrect. I go to the beach. I love the beach. So that one is the lie. And number three, I hardly ever play soccer. Yeah, hardly ever, but I do sometimes. Yeah, so <laughs> never. This one is the lie. The number two is the lie. I always drive a motorcycle to work. Algunos no le dicen motorcycle porque nadie, mucha gente no considera a mi moto una moto. Tiene muchos haters, pero yeah. Why? <laughs> right. it's, it's, a, it's a little it's a, it's a It's a Honda Navi. Uh -huh. Yeah, many people say, that, that's not a motorcycle. But yes, it's a motorcycle. Yes, it is. Yeah, it is. <laughs> so this one is the lie. Okay, now I want to know yours. Are you going to write three? Then you're going to read here and we're going to guess what is the lie that you're telling me. Yes? Right. Are you ready? 
¿Ya? Ok, ok. Les voy a esperar. I'm going to wait for you. No me las manden, no me las manden. Solo las van a decir. Just write them down and you're going to say it. When you finish, you say, I'm done. I'm done is like, ya terminé, okay? When you finish, you say, I'm done. Ah, you're thinking right, uh huh? I finished. Okay, excellent. We're waiting for Melanie now. Finish. 
Excellent, okay. Let's play this game. Now we're gonna start with, let me see. We're gonna start with Daniel this time. Okay, Daniel, go ahead. Um, I always play video games. I hardly ever go to the church and I sometimes sleep in my work when I am break. Okay. Hmm. Melanie, what do you think is the lie? Um, I hardly, hardly ever go to the church. Hmm. I always play video games and I sometimes sleep in my work when I'm in break. Um, que sale a dormir a lo break <ríe> <ríe> a veces a veces <ríe> me duermo en el trabajo cuando estoy en break yo, 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 ah. yo creo que eso es verdad <ríe> ok, okay so what is the lie what is the lie ir a la iglesia para que say hardly ever like almost never Ah, de vez en cuando, ¿vale? Yeah, that's what he said. Mm -hmm. Creo que es verdad. Ok. So, no so I play always play video, video games. games is a lie. Yes, that's true. Oh, really? I, 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 I don't know. I, <laughs> casi nunca juego. Oh, so hardly ever. You hardly ever play video games. Uh -huh. okay. Yes. Okay. Okay. So it's okay. correct, it's a lie. Good I'm... job, Melanie. Excellent. Mira, Excellent. Yeah. I would I would have es que, said que estamos sincronizados porque casi que lo mismo que sí. Okay. Okay. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. What about you? Tell me. Va a salir Tell fácil. Me, yeah, por ejemplo, yo I never drive a motorcycle. Okay. okay. I hardly ever play video games. Y I always uh, hit candy. Eat candy. Eat candy. The first is light. No, ¿cómo, ¿cómo era la primera? ¿Cómo era la primera? I never drive a motorcycle. And I hardly ever play video games. And I always go to candy. The third is lie. La uh, two, I hardly ever play video. That is a lie? This is a lie? Uh -huh. So <laughs> you never play video games? Ah, okay. Ah. Okay. Estaba difícil. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yo prefiero otras cosas. Perder el tiempo de otra forma. <laughs> <laughs> like TikTok. <laughs> Y true, ¿cuáles son mis true? <laughs> oh, well, obviously, las true son las otras dos. Las, like, I never drive a motorcycle, right? Sí, sí. Nunca, And nunca always see the candy. Y los candy, aunque me regañen en el trabajo, siempre tengo que andar dulce. <laughs> 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 ok. Y ahí dice necessary. No, no. Yo he descubierto que el, el dulce es muy necesario para despertarse allá en la tarde. Como que, uff, está ahí con dulcito. Yo siempre tengo que andar a veces en la área esa que los compañeros llegan. Melanie, no andas un dulce. Yo siempre tengo que andar un dulce. Ahí en mi <risa> <risa> ella, ella es la dealer de dulces. Y uh, <risa> no always use a mask. <risa> no, no, en serio, si no, eran más en los pronósticos de noche. You work at night sometimes. Sí, pero muchas veces nos salimos de noche. Pues... Oh, you both work at night. Yes. Yes. Oh. And and everyone who be in this group uh, works at night. Works at, at night. Yes. Oh, that's why they are sleeping right now. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't believe because uh, yesterday we slept. We are. We were uh, desvelado. ¿Cómo se dice desvelado? No me acuerdo. Like you. Asleep. No. Asleep. No. You were asleep. No. No. dormí. <laughs> But yesterday. No. Today maybe everyone are in party or something like that. <laughs> Let's say they are visiting the family. Okay. <laughs> okay. No, pero de verdad es que ahora ahora escribieron como a las diez y algo. 
Y yo por suerte, eh, lo que iba a hacer lo hice en la mañana. Y pensé hacerlo en la tarde. Si lo hubiera hecho en la tarde, no, no creo que no hubiera estado tampoco. Solo hubiéramos estado Melanie y yo. Ajá. De hecho, yo la pelea porque yo tenía planes de salir hoy en la tarde. Oh, y my. cuando vi el mensaje, ya mejor decía, ya no mejor mañana. Si no Ajá, me y el... solo con Ana Yasmín aquí de oyente y yo hablando. Ajá, y el correo que tenía decía que el lunes 30, que me parecía raro porque sí nos tocaba trabajar. Y de hecho hice planes para mañana, voy a ver ahí cómo lo cambio para la tarde, porque lo tenía en la tarde. Ajá, porque el correo que me mandaron a Gmail, que me mandaron, decía que el lunes 30. Yeah, it's tomorrow from 3 to 5. And today from 3 to 5. Uh -huh. Y de ahí creo que ustedes tienen today and tomorrow. Uh -huh. Luego tienen el 4, el 4. Uh -huh. Pero solo el 4, dice. And then you have the 12 and the 13. Tienen el 12 y el 13. Ese día, esa semana van a descansar lunes. Ajá, uh -huh, sí. Okay. Luego tienen el 20, el 20. Y luego sí, tienen... esos horarios. Yo, yo revisé el calendario. Eh, me cuadraba que empezaran ahora porque eran de descanso. No el 30. Ajá, entonces, por eso dije yo, no me voy a ver si, si sigo. Sí, menos mal. Uh -huh. <ríe> At least you did. Ok, bueno, vamos a esperar entonces a los otros classmates para mañana. Esperemos que sí. Ok, okay let's check uh, Porque lo que estábamos haciendo tiene una nota <coughs> So let's check the grades so we finish already So let's click finish Check my answers And let's see We got a 10 Excellent, good job We got a 10, excellent, very good okay, Now, I just want to explain something Because with the verb to be It's different Y si va a ser diferente con to be. So let me show you how. For example, we say that we need a subject, then we need the adverb of frequency, and then we need the verb, and then we need the complement, right? So this is how it normally is. For example, I always get up early. But this is with all the other verbs, only with the verb, solo con los otros verbos. Pero cuando tenemos el verbo to be, when we have the verb to be, we have an exception. It's an exception, and it's like this list. Subject, verb be, then adverb of frequency, and then the comma. So in this case, it's different. For example, I am always early, early to work. You see? In this case, it's different, right? We need to pay attention to that. It's different. So always get up. It's between the subject and the verb. But when we have the verb to be, cuando tenemos el verb to be, si vamos a poner verb to be first, and then the adverb of frequency. Yes? Okay. Porque vi que me hicieron unas con el be, y esta es una corrección que cabe decirle. For example, um, Daniel me dijo, I often be happy. In that case, I will do like this. I am often happy, right? In that case, because it's the verb to be. Let's do another with she, for example. She is never uh, angry. She's never angry with me. Let's do another. They are sometimes, they are sometimes, they are sometimes in the park. Okay. Remember, verb to be means like zero star. He is hardly, hardly, hardly ever, he is hardly ever in the mood. ¿Saben qué significa in the mood? You know the meaning of in the mood? No, I don't. It means like de buenas. Okay. Él rara vez está de buenas. Yes? Okay. But, quiero que me hagan ustedes dos examples utilizando the adverbs of frequency, pero con el verb be, ¿ok? Los veo en el chat. See you in the chat.
It's okay, tienen tiempo para arreglarlo. <laughs> to fix it. Sister is a little sad. Okay, I'm going to say. Okay, espero la Okay, I'm hardly ever is on the stretch. Okay, Melanie, sí está correcto, pero como ya tenemos el verbo to be, no necesitamos otro verbo, ¿verdad? So, el go, for example, vamos a corregir la number one para explicarlo. It's corrected here, look. So, you send I, vamos a poner con mayúscula, capital letter I, I am hardly ever go to. So go, y dice, yo estoy eh, muy pocas veces ir a la iglesia. So this is not necessary. So I, ha, I am hardly ever in the church. Por ejemplo, yo rara vez estoy en la iglesia. Yes? So in that case, I'm going to just delete the other verb. And this one is the correct one. Okay? Yes? Bien. Good job. Excellent. Thank you. Now, vamos a ir a hacer otra activity, que this is a fun activity. Si ustedes conocen a los otros estudiantes del otro grupo, están con, conmigo también en el otro grupo, vamos, vamos a ver esta actividad que es like a little bit fun. Se desconectó Daniel. What happened to Daniel? He disconnected. Miren, nos dejó, Melanie. La señal se le ha venido. Oh, where do you Pero, live, Melanie? Hola. Where do you live? Eh, ¿Dónde vivo? Ya. Yeah. En Japa. ¿En Daniel? Es de Santa Ana, creo. Okay. Okay. No recuerdo si sí, de Santa Ana. ¿Y el, el empresa donde trabajan ustedes, dónde queda? En Opico. Oh, ok. Sí, tengo a unos que son, están en esa planta de San Juan Pico, los tengo en este equipo. Sí, 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 tengo varios en este equipo en, en, en el que atiendo los otros días. El libro. Uh -huh. no. Bueno, no sé qué le pasó a Daniel. Oh my God, what happened to him? Bueno, pero mientras viene él, vamos. A corregir su otra oración, Melanie, para que. Okay. So, the next one you sent, la otra que envió, decía, he's always, okay, so we're going to use he is always, drives a motorcycle, ¿verdad? Si la dejáramos así, aquí dice, él está siempre manejar su motocicleta. So, sería mejor que pongamos he's always. Driving, ok, mm -hmm. podríamos decir manejando, él está siempre manejando su motocicleta. He's always driving his motorcycle, en este caso sí estaría correcto. Ok, Melanie. Ok, excelente. Well, yeah, porque está manejando. Yes. Okay. Daniel, mm -hmm. what happened? 
¿Qué me le pasó, Daniel? I think it's this. I think it's this. Sí, siento que la señal está fallando bastante, Daniel. Si quiere, eh, deje su cámara apagada, Daniel, porque tal vez así le funcione mejor. Eh, no sé, me sacó de un solo. Sí, dice que your internet connection is unstable. Is unstable. Ok, ok. Bien, it's ok. Bien. Le decía, vamos a hacer una actividad que ya hice con el otro equipo. I did this activity with the other group. And this is for improving your pronunciation. This is to improve your pronunciation, ¿ok? Para mejorar la pronunciación. Les decía, when we go to the gym, cuando vamos al gym, ¿ok? El instructor me dice, usted va a hacer eh, cinco repeticiones de 15 sentadillas, ¿ok? Y yo digo, ah, me la voy a imaginar. Ya las hice. Ahí el instructor se va a quedar viendo como, ¿ok? ¿A qué horas? Yo no es que me imaginé que las hice. Las so, idealicé. Ok, so, ¿Usted cree que va a cambiar su cuerpo con solo imaginarlas? No. You have to do them, right? Tienen que hacerlas. You have to do them to do it. To, to work, ok. So the same in English. Many people say, es que mire yo, hablar inglés y me cuesta entenderlo es más fácil, pero ya hablarlo es si me pagara a mí por todas las veces que he escuchado eso. If they pay me for all the times that I have heard that. Pero ¿por qué? Porque en Spanish, los músculos que usamos en la boca y las cuerdas vocales son en posición diferente que en el inglés, ok. Entonces ustedes toda su vida han entrenado los músculos de su boca para hablar qué? Spanish. Entonces cuando quieren hablar inglés, se les lengua la traba. Right? <laughs> It doesn't work. No trabaja. Entonces, um, no funciona. I'm sorry. So, ¿qué tenemos que hacer? Uh, practice. ¿Y cómo podemos hacer estas practices? Learning songs in English. Aprendiendo las canciones en inglés, pero no solo pensadas. Habladas. Ok. Pero eso no me funciona en las clases en línea, porque si voy con una canción, unos van al inicio de la canción, otros en medio. Según la señal les va dando, así van todos. ¿verdad? Por, va a varios lados. So what is working for me? ¿Qué funciona para mí? The tongue twisters. Do you know what is a tongue twister? No, I don't. Tongue twister is a trabalengua in English. Okay. Mm -hmm. So with these tongue twisters, this tongue twister that we're going to see today, el que vamos a ver hoy, vamos a hacer two practices. The first practice is the letter S. For example, when people say a school, that is incorrect because the pronunciation, it is not correct. Let me show you. For example, school, stay, study, student. Okay. In these cases, many people say a school, a stay, a study, a student. That is incorrect. That's what I want you to think. There's not an e. I mean, there's not an e here. This is a, a school, a stay, a study, a student. No, no, no. That is incorrect. So listen. Just the sound of the letter S. School, stay, study, student. See? That is different. Porque aquí solo tengo one syllable. School, school. Only one. School, school. But if I add the letter E at the beginning, it will be E, school. E, school. Two syllables, right? So it's incorrect. Stay, study, student. Okay? So that's what you need to learn. Don't use the E at the beginning of S. And the other one, que vamos a aprender a mejorar, es la R, the letter R. For example, when I say carro, carro, I do the R here. But in, in English, la lengua se queda arriba, el palabra. Y hace como R, arriba, R, o, como diríamos carro en inglés, car, 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 no haces el desenvolver. Entonces, esas pronunciations vamos a practicar con ese tongue twister, que dice, ice cream, you scream, well, scream for ice cream. <laughs> ice cream, you scream, well, scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, well, scream for ice cream. Pero despacito sería, I scream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. I scream, you scream. We all scream for ice cream. I 
scream, you scream, we all scream, for I scream. So en la pronunciación de la R estoy haciendo énfasis y en las S. I scream, you scream, we all scream, for I scream. Ok. Les doy unos minutos ahí para que lo practiquen ustedes individualmente. Y después voy a pasarles a que lo digan. Ok. Intenten decirlo cinco veces seguidas sin tocarse. Ice cream, you scream, world scream, for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, world scream, for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, world scream, for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, world scream, for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, world scream, for ice cream. <laughs> like that. Okay, are you ready? Yes, I am. Excellent. Let's go, Daniel. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Wow. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Can you say it five times in a row? Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. And I don't know how many times I say. Four. <laughs> Four. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream, we all scream for ice cream. Ice cream, you scream. Now you were about to say six. <laughs> okay. 
<laughs> good job, good job, Daniel. Excellent, good job, Melanie. Okay, ahí vamos. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, ice cream, do you ice cream? We ice cream for ice cream. Ice cream, do ice cream? We ice cream for ice cream. <laughs> Ya me trabé. Vamos, vamos. Ice cream, you ice cream. Ice cream, you ice cream, we ice cream for ice cream. Ice cream, you the ice cream, we ice cream for ice cream. Ice cream. Para hacer ese ay. Ice cream, you ice cream. Ice cream, you ice cream, we ice cream for ice cream. Ok, excelente. Bye, good job. Yes, good job. Excellent. You did it good. Okay. Ice cream. 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 Practíquenlo, practíquenlo en sus, en sus houses, practicing your houses, practicing your job, pero diciéndolo, no imaginándose. Cuando se lo estoy imaginando, se acuérdese que si usted se imagina las sentadillas en el gimnasio, va a funcionar. No. <ríe> so you actually have to do it, ¿ok? You actually have to do it. Hasta que duela esto. A veces hasta esto duele. Duele, it hurts. Entonces cuando duela, así como dicen en el gym, no pain, no gain. Eh, si no hay dolor, no hay ganancia, ¿verdad? So, yes, the same here, the same situation here. Okay, now here we have a conversation. Let me go. In the, um, in the platform, we have a conversation. So, we're going to practice that conversation right now. Listen to it. Hello, we're now in section six. How often do you exercise? In this lesson, participants will listen to a conversation about how often they do an activity. Pay attention to the question, how often, and what they use to respond. I hardly ever exercise. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go inline skating. Wow! How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real couch potato. In our next session, I will teach you adverbs of frequency so you can respond to how often you do a particular activity. Okay, so vamos a hacer esta activity. About five times a week. Okay. And I'm going to read it for you. Okay. You're really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I go in life skating wow how often do you exercise like that about five times a week what about you um i hardly ever exercise i usually just watch tv in my free time i guess i'm a real couch potato quieren que le repita una pronunciation o les diga un meaning tell me your meaning um, I have a question. Yeah, tell me. Um, coach potato, what does it mean? That means like a lazy person. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ajá, uh oye, -huh. potato activities también, ma. Serían actividades perezosas yeah, o algo así. Yeah. yeah, in this case, couch potato es como una papa tirada en un sillón que hace nada. <laughs> Literalmente solo está ahí. Yes. All right. Okay. Okay, so if you're ready, we're going to practice this conversation. Melanie, you're going to be Marie, and Daniel, you're going to be Paul, okay? Okay. Voy a ampliar para que lo puedan ver mejor. Okay, there you go. Melanie, you start, please. 
Microphone. Microphone You're in mute, uh, Melanie. You're muted. Sí, pero me mandó un mensaje al WhatsApp, ya se fijó. Ah, no. <laughs> no, no he visto el WhatsApp. Que no le, se le quedó en negro la computadora. Ah, chis. Algo así me pasó a mí de primero. Y me cerró todo. Pero la seguimos viendo, ¿ah? ¿eh? Ya. Yeah. Pero nosotros podemos seguirla viendo. Pero no se escucha, Melanie. Por lo menos hágame una señal si no se escucha. No, dice. Ah, pues si no se escucha. <risa> <risa> Fue casualidad, creo, de mover la mano así. O sea, como que habla Melanie, pero como está muteada, no se entiende qué dice. Ok, le, si gusta leo yo Espérame. todo, ya. <ríe> yeah. Ok. Um, you really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Uh, well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Whoa. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I am a real coach potato. Excellent. Good job. Good pronunciation, Daniel. Solo que diría que dijo I am. Yes. Uh, I am. Excuse me. It's the abbreviation. Correct. It's I am. I guess I'm a real coach, coach potato. Okay. Do it one more time, Daniel. Um, you really fit, Paul. Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Seriously? Sure. And then I often go in a line skating. Uh, wow, how often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually just watch TV in my free time. I guess I'm a real coach potato. Yeah, that's better. Excellent. Can you repeat this word? Seriously. Okay, seriously. Yes, good job. Okay, so um, I don't know. Maybe we're just going to wait for Melanie, but here is the question. Do you exercise, Daniel? And no. No, I don't. <laughs> no, I'm no, a coach no. potato, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I was thinking. You're a real coach. I will try. Melanie! Well, Melanie está como desde el teléfono, creo, pero no conectado el audio. Melanie, active el audio. Ya volví. Desde el celular me conecté porque la computadora <risa> me... se me perdió. Ya no quiero estar en clase en la computer. No. Pero ya casi terminamos. Ten minutes more, ¿ok? Ok, vamos a practicar esta conversación con Daniel, ¿ok? Usted eh, empieza ahí donde dice Marie, aquí. Aquí, okay, ahorita. Dice... You really fit, Paul? Do you exercise a lot? Well, I almost always get up early and I lift weights for an hour. Serious? Serious. Sure. And then I often go in line skating. Whoa. How often do you exercise like that? About five times a week. What about you? Oh, I hardly ever exercise. I usually use watch TV in my free time. I guess I am real ouch potato. Okay, excellent. Good job. So vamos a corregir unas pronunciations nada más. Just a few pronunciations. Y sería, y Melanie, seriously. Serious. Seriously. Seriously. Yes. Yeah. Just. Just, just couch, couch, potato, potato. Excellent. Good job. Excellent. So this is the first conversation we will have in the in the book. Okay, and then we have another one. Aquí ya tenemos los exercises. 
you see, los adverse of frequency, que ya lo vimos, duration, and this is the other conversation, okay? Vamos a escuchar this conversation now. Vamos a practicar esto y ya vamos a ir finalizando con la clase. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, we're going to listen to it once more. We're going to one more time. In this class, you will listen and follow a conversation about physical skills. Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another conversation? This time, we will learn to ask questions using how. Listen and repeat. I'm a real fitness freak. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh. Do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. So this time I'm going to read it, okay? Hi, everyone. Are you ready to listen to another call? Okay. Do you know what is shape? What am I? <clears throat> uh, do you have questions about this conversation before I say it? No questions? Okay, I'm going to do it. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week. And I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Um... How well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. But I am not, but I'm, I'm sorry, but I'm, but I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, I'm going to read one more time. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks. I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a lot of fun. <clears throat> oh, do you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I'm not very good. No problem, I'll give you a few tips. Ok, so vamos a empezar, lo va a leer una vez completo Melanie, luego otra vez completo Daniel, y luego eh, juntos, ok, just complete. You are in great shape, Kate, think, I guess I am a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week, and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sound like a little, a little fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Uh, how well do you play? Pretty, pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I am not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much. An applause for the classmate. Vamos a hacer, corregir un par de mistakes, que sería great, great, great. great. I'm, 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 workout, todo junto, workout, 
work, work out. A lot. A lot. Y lo junto lo dice todo. A lot of. A lot of. Yes. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. 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 A lot of fun. Yeah. How? How? Pretty. 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 Pretty? Yeah. Excellent. Daniel, your turn. You're in great shape, Keith. Thanks, I guess I'm real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a, a lot of fun. Oh, uh, do you want to play sometime? Um, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right. But I'm not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. A few tips. Yes. Excellent. Good job, Daniel. Okay. Solo aquí salió. Se, no dijo la A. Se dijo, I'm a, I'm real fitness freak. Yes, I'm a, I'm, I'm a real. A, I'm a real fitness. Okay. Real fitness freak. Okay. Now let's go. Melanie, your Ruth. And Daniel, your kid. You are in great shape, Kate. Thank, thanks, I guess I'm a real fitness freak. How often do you work out? Well, I do aerobics twice a week and I play tennis every week. Tennis? That sounds like a little fun. Oh, do you want to play sometime? Oh, how well do you play? Pretty well, I guess. Well, all right, but I am not very good. No problem. I'll give you a few tips. Excellent. Good job. No mistakes this time. Yes, excellent. Well, you guys, y así de rápido y así de fast. Yo sentí rápido el tiempo, no sé ustedes, pero así de rápido ya terminamos esta primera clase. We finished the first class and we'll have the class tomorrow at 3 p.m. Si pueden, recuerden eso a sus compañeros <ríe> para que se nos vayan incorporando. Ok, remember que cada clase son dos horas y solo tenemos eight classes. And that's it, right? When we finish the eight classes, that's it. Básicamente ya terminamos una, solo nos quedan seven more classes and then we finished. Ok. Bueno, nice to see you and I will see you tomorrow, right? Right. Yes. Ok. Have a good rest of, of the afternoon. Diviértanse con su familia. And have fun, Thank okay? Bye-bye. Take care. Bye. Bye.